Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? I hope y'all doing well. We uh, gonna be hunting the next two days down the road a piece. Ain't never hunted it. Ain't never listened to it. Ain't never nothing. <laughs> we uh, decided to come hunt. We, we, we rode down the road somewhere so we could hunt for the next two days until their season goes out and then we're going to scurry back to Maine um, to where we were at yesterday. But we can hunt Maine in June and we can't hunt out of these other states in June. So, um yeah, just stretching it out a little bit. So sorry if I seem tired, seem lethargic because I am tired and I probably am lethargic. You're doing pretty good though, actually. Man, I am hurting this morning. I'm just, I'm just. No, no, didn't have coffee. That's why. Mm, I know. We got up the last minute. We've been picking them up, putting them down ever since we got up. So, anyway, let's get our stuff on and let's go do a little turkey hunt. What y'all say? Turkey hunt squirrel. Let's do it. Yeah. I guess let's go up and around, try to get above it. Is he on the ground in there? He sounds like you don't.
Pretty to get, ain't it? That was beautiful. <laughs> Did you hear the other one down there? To the left? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> hey, that the video good. quality on that right there. Top Jeff, you think? Oh, I exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Wow, was that pretty. He gave us a gobble. Boy, did he let us know right down there by those split trees. I'm here. <laughs> I said, oh. Yeah. What a hunt. What a hunt. I think that was worth the drive. Man, my heart is in my chest right now. My two, I'm shaking so bad. I mean, in my chest. What do you say about that, old boy? Can you believe that? I think the drive was worth it. I mean, hey. Walking right up in here like he... We bought cigars. <laughs> did you bring them? I did not. But he's just right down there. We'll be all right. <laughs> he left them in the truck, didn't he? Yeah. What a beauty. What a hunt. What a hunt. What a hunt. He wasn't gobbling terribly, a lot, just enough. Boy, when you hit that second series of yelping, he cut you clean off. And I said, oh boy. He must not even heard that first little soft Suffer. Yeah, he must have not. I don't think he heard the first seven words. I don't think he did either. I don't know. He must have been moving through some grass or something because he didn't gobble at him. Boy, but when you went to yelping, I mean, he like over the top. Yep. As soon as I like put a that's, little volume with it. Yeah, that's how I knew that was, it was. Yep. When I put a little volume with it, he hit it. Yep, I knew it was a pick I felt coming up my leg. Well, it was a big one? Yeah, pretty big. You felt it, huh? Yeah, I felt it. <sighs> felt him, boy. That's when you know you've been in the woods quite a while when you feel a tick on your leg and know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and Experience, that's, huh? <laughs> and that's also, that's also a tell you to appreciate about turkey hunting when you don't go get him off because you have turkey hunting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to have to get him a meal before I... Oh, you got 24 hours before they really sit down. Uh, uh, I said, he's going to have to get him a meal because I ain't dealing with him right now. We ain't about to move. Got to go for the turkey down here. What did I do? You give me a two pack of cigars. What did I do with it? I don't know. Did I get it back to you? No. There it is. I hear it. You hit it. You know, I almost said something to you this morning. I heard these going. 
I said, what did you do? Bring some, like, bring it to go box? And when you heard him like go- this walking up, yeah. I was trying to hide him, be discreet, because I knew you you got all, like, we got sidetracked and you were doing all this shit. I said, I need to grab these things just in case, you know? I heard, I said, what did he do? Grab a McMuffin on the way here? Did you guys stuff that in his face? Or no. a McRib. You a, you a McRib kind of guy? Yeah, oh, yeah. McRib. <laughs> McRib. Chuck loved McRibs. He was one of those ones that stood in line when they had the McRib his back, you know? Thing. Oh, yeah. He stood in line to get one. Bought a bunch of frozen, brought them, brought them home. Because, you know, they were giving away those uh, bobbleheads with them. Yeah. <laughs> the McRib bobblehead. He's got one on the dashboard, doesn't he? Yeah. Salute. <clears throat> Look at you, dear. How was that? Yes, sir. My season just keeps, keeps getting better and better as these days click out. Yeah, that's all right. We walked the road up from the top, from the bottom, didn't we? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's that road that comes in right there. It just comes in and takes a loop right here. Yeah. yeah. So he's, hopefully he'll walk that road. Somebody walking up the flipping field edge. And then dang turd just gobbled right beside him. No.
It's just echoing up that other side. that dude walking right there. He's walking right down the inside of the tree line right there. That's what I'm saying, he just did a loop. He's, did a loop. He's finna walk right over that turkey. I mean, he's walking right out there to the field now. He's coming right after the road. Because I stopped to look at him. I bet that guy just hit the dirt. <laughs> that was about the wildest thing I've ever, ever encountered. Wow. That guy just did a full loop around us. Did, did it walk by the turkey, walked around the turkey, and then walked? That turkey had to be right out in the middle of the field just that, that's what <laughs> wild. Mm -mm. <sighs> Dave, what a day. What a day. <laughs> I'm assuming, I don't know who that gentleman is. I'm assuming he was a neighbor or something just walking the property because the guy who owns this property doesn't live here. <laughs> well, we have permission. Yeah, we have permission from the guy who oversees the property and it's not posted and just kind of the northeast and that's what you do. Um, it's a little different in the southeast where if you step on somebody's property, you get shot. I think these folks are just, you know, they a bit more understanding and I'm assuming this gentleman probably does this walk every morning. It's probably his morning walk and he just so happened to be walking right past the goblin turkey this morning that we had just set up on. Thank you, Lord. I can tell you, if there's ever been a day in turkey hunting that would match this, it's hard to be. Hard. Look at these white. Well, ivory joker. Ivory spurs, huh? Yeah. That dude just got a show. You know what? He didn't even have to. Have, he didn't even have to have an outdoor channel subscription. He stopped every time that turkey got oh, him. He stopped and he, he's looking into the sun. You can see him put his hand over his eyes, like the shield in his eyes, looking 
He had to be looking at that joker coming up through the center of that field. They in a good mood today, boy. Oh, they yeah. in a good mood. Tomorrow's the last day. Tomorrow's the last day that they, they had. They had to make it one more day. What a backdrop! Look at the backdrop. Unreal. What a freaking! Oh man, you talking about comfortable now? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Will I fire one of these up? We better. Another one? Another one? Yeah. Here's. Glad we made the drive, squirrel. Oh, me too. We contemplated it in that little bar slash pub slash grill that we ate at. Yeah. We sat in the truck staring at our phones, contemplating whether we was gonna go or not so long that the truck cut off, which means that truck will sit there and idle for an hour. But if it sits over an hour, it cuts off. I couldn't believe that, so it shut off. I was you like, said, what did it just do? I said, we've been sitting here for over an hour. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.